Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to thank you guys for your support and your patience on me missing my video last Wednesday. Uh, my sister had a baby, so I have been spending time with my family and just loving on my new niece and just being in that whole world. So I missed my video Wednesday. I'm so sorry about that. But um, this is the video that I wanted to put up for Wednesday. These are my June favorites. These are items that I have been using a lot, loving in all of June. Um, some of them are new. Some of them are ones that I've had already that I just spin the block on that I actually forgot about. And I was like, hey, wait, these are good. So um, I just started using them again and I incorporated them into my everyday routine. Um, if you guys are new here, I would love for you to subscribe, join our little community. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for returning. I'm so glad you are loving the content. And if you are here to see my June favorites, keep watching. <music> Um, a lot of the items I have for my June favorites are makeup related. I don't have a lot of skincare products because my skincare routine hasn't really changed. I'm still using like my La Mer and uh, my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery, but I have added the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser. Now, I told you guys about this before in a previous video, but let me tell you something else I've learned. I was using the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm to take off my makeup, then cleansing my face. Why none of y'all told me that I can take my makeup off with this? I figured this out one night. I don't know what went on. I think I might have ran out of the balm and I just was like, I got to take my makeup off with the do. So I just was going to like wash my face with a washcloth. Put this in the palm of your hand. Put a little bit of water um, and mix it up, like lather it up because it's very thick. That makeup started melting off of my face into the sink. Like all of this brown and look color. And I'm like, is it taking my makeup off? So now I use this to take my makeup off with. I do a double cleanse, which I guess you should do anyway. But I make sure now to do a double cleanse because I take my makeup off first with this. And then I go back and make sure everything is clean, make sure I haven't missed anything with another wash using this. I love this stuff. I had the smaller one when I first got it. I had to go back and get the big one because this is excellent. This is for all skin tones, dry, oily. This doesn't break me out. I had um, been having a couple of late nights lately, so sometimes I'm like really tired. And about two nights, I slept with my makeup on. So I started getting like these little fine bumps. And I don't really wear a foundation like that. I'll do a tinted moisturizer, but it's still something that's like on your face and your pores. Little fine bumps. Started using this nightly again, like I've been doing. Skin has been perfect, like, ever since. I highly, highly recommend this. Kiehl's is an excellent brand anyway. The dark spot corrector that was recommended to me by my facialist is one of the best things, and it's helping with my hyperpigmentation on my forehead, and I have a little bit of darkness, like, down here. I, I'm loving Kiehl's. I even got some... Um, moisturizer and cleanser for my husband he talking about he don't see no difference but yes he do because he he has really really oily skin so i feel like it's helping to tame some of the oil on his skin and less breakouts because while you may age better with oily skin you are more prone to breakouts so i feel like it's helping him a lot and I highly recommend Kills as a brand, period. Wonderful. So I have a lot of Dior products, so I'm just gonna warn you now. So I don't know, I'm I've been on this Dior kick. I had no idea how good Dior products are until I just I started using them and I'm just like, where all of this stuff been? So now I have been getting into the habit of touching up my face like throughout the day, making sure everything's in the perfect spot. Making sure that, you know, your uh, 
eyebrows are still looking good, just touching your face up. Well, I've been using this Dior Air Flash Radiance Mist. Now, they have them in different skin tones or like maybe one universal skin tone. Let me say that. And I happened to see that they had a medium to dark skin tone. This is so, so good. It's not dewy. It's not drying or matte. It's just what it says. It's radiant. But the thing about it is you can put it on while you have your clothes on and it won't ruin your clothes. It is so good. Like, let me show you guys. As you can see, or here, it has like a little ball in it. You shake it up. And it just like refreshes your makeup with like a little radiant glow to it. Like, I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but this stuff is so good. Like I spray it all day and it does have a color to it, as you can see, but for some reason it doesn't mess my clothes up. So I use this, I carry this with me all day because sometimes like when I'm feeling a little eh, or it's hot and I just feel like I just want to look, you know, a little pick me up, take this out and spray it. Now, apparently it's a primer and a setting spray. I have not used this under my tinted moisturizer. This is something that I'm going to do and I'll keep you guys updated on it to let you know how it goes. But I don't see why it would be an issue. Like it'll probably make it look even better and give it a little more radiance even though I use the Huda Beauty and my skin so dry everybody was complaining about how dewy that um the Huda Beauty glowish is I don't, I'm trying to understand because it ain't all that do, uh, dewy on me and maybe it's because my skin is so dry but this definitely helps out makes everything more radiant everything just like melts into your skin i highly highly recommend this this is excellent my next item i have is also from dior and this is something that i throw in my bag something so easy just grab it and go this is the dior lip glow oil at first i didn't get the hype everybody is like running around grabbing these we're all sold out at sex and i'm like what is the deal this stuff is good. It comes in other colors. I have the cover cover uh, 001. It has a beautiful peach color, which I had used that down to the white meat. They have like a clear color, some other kind of colors. It's not a lot, but it's so, so good. Remember that lip gloss that we used to use back in the day? Um, it was like a, a roller ball. I think it was like a cherry one and you would get it at the hair store. It's like that, but a thousand times more luxurious. This stuff is so like soft on your mouth. It's not sticky. It gives your mouth like a beautiful glow. It has a really thick doe foot applicator and it's soft. Like when you put it on. Oh my God. It's the knob, not the knob. <laughs> The little applicator is so soft. It gives your mouth, see, it's not sticky. It's very soft on your mouth. It has like the most beautiful glow on it. It has a little tint on it as well. This stuff is good. Like, I love it. You can wear it alone, just light concealer, mascara, throw this on, you know, tank top, jeans, shorts, throw your hair up in a bun. That's what this is for. Every day, going to the gym, going to the market, wherever you're going, just throw this in your bag. You are going to be hooked on this, especially for those no makeup days. You're going to love this. It's so easy and you still look pretty and put together. Okay, so this next item is something that my sister actually put me down with because I've never even heard of this brand in my life. So this is the Refi Lip Sculpt in Sepia. When I tell you this is the perfect 90s brown lip liner, everybody has been on this like old school makeup tip. You want an old brown, foxy brown lips liner? This is it. Now, when you first get it, the tip is kind of like, let me see if I can focus it. There you go. The tip is like extremely pointy, but now it's all rounded off because I've been using it like every day. So it's not going to maintain that same shape, but it's still so easy to use. It's so like precise 
which I guess that's why the tip was so pointy. So now I have to be a little careful because I don't wore the tip down to not make my line so thick, but it's perfect when you first get it. They have a little thing underneath that I'm going to assume is like a, um, uh, not a primer, but something to like keep your liner from moving underneath it. I haven't used it because um, I touch up my lip stuff, but I guess if you're one of those ones that want to have uh, a liner on and you can eat, drink, and don't have to worry about um, touching up anything, then this will be perfect for you. I personally don't use that part, but I this is my favorite liner. I haven't picked up not one other liner the month of June since I got this. And I'm going to pick up even more of these just to make sure that I have a supply in case they be all sold out because it was hard for me to find this one. The person at Sephora had to find this one stuffed in the bag. I guess somebody was coming back for it. But yeah, no ma'am. So this is my favorite liner this month. It, it goes with all my lipsticks because I'm a new girl. Clear lip gloss, whatever. It's perfect. My next item is by Makeup by Mario. And this is his Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. I have the color Dark Deep. I love this stuff. He has another powder that he came out with at the same time. I don't really have that one because I don't really know how to use it. It's kind of weird. I don't know if it's a setting like perimeter powder. I don't know if it's like a powder foundation. It's really glittery like when I put it on my hand. So I just left that. But this one, this one is good. Now, the only thing I would say about this one is this has to be set, in my opinion, because on me, it does not last. I put this on and not even half the day is gone and I don't see no bronzer, no nothing. So I have to take like my Gucci bronzer and like, you know, set it and go over it. But this is a beautiful, beautiful bronzy color for the summertime. It's so good. And you would think that it like wouldn't work on like maybe my skin tone, but it does. Now, anybody darker than me, I don't know how well this would work unless you maybe build it up. But I know on me, I'm just making it. It's perfect. Um, I love to sculpt out like my cheekbones with it. I put it on my forehead. It's very emollient though. So I think that's why it doesn't last like throughout the day. It's not sticky, but it's very like slippery. So you have to be careful when you're using this. I don't use a brush with this. I usually use a sponge, but this is one of my favorite products because I love this, the tone of it. It's perfect for the summertime to make you look really tan and really sculpted on your cheeks. I love this stuff. Mario has really not missed to me since his brand launch. Okay, now I know I did a Pat McGrath video for her blush, which I love. I have been using Pat McGrath ever since I got it, which is why I forgot about this. I happened to see this and I'm like, I got to pull this back out and put this back in my everyday bag. This is the NARS blush in Savage. This is another one that is just like San Tropez, summertime out in the sun, like look, I have, I'm wearing it right now. Like look at my cheeks. Look how like bronzy and beautiful. When I first saw it, I thought it was a bronzer cause it's really dark. So I'm like, whoa, why is there so much shimmer in the bronzer? When they told me this was a blush, I said, I have to see this now. I don't know who I am, but I have become such a blush girl and I love it. When I was young, you couldn't pay me to put blush on. Now I just, I can't get enough. Like that's one of the first things I'll buy in the store, even before tinted moisturizer or foundation, I'll pick up a blush because they just, they finish your look. They make you look so pretty, especially in the summer, like this beautiful beautiful flush of color. I love this stuff. Like it looks so beautiful. It just looked like you've been on the beach or just out in the sun. Just, I love this. This is one of my favorites. And Pat had me twisted for a second. So I forgot about this, but I'm putting this right back in my bag. My next June favorite that I have been using down in June is my Gemini 2 palette from Milk Cosmetics. I didn't even know this palette was coming out. I usually see like updates on trend mood and things on Instagram. I haven't seen anything about this palette. I must have missed it. 
I was in Sephora and it messed me up because they had it open and I walked past like, what is this? Every single day, I take this big behind pallet out the door with me just in case. Because sometimes I have to do my makeup on the go, depending on how late I'm running. Don't judge. Um, sometimes I take it just so I can do touch-ups and just make sure, like, if I'm, I have things going on after work. But this palette is amazing. First of all, this section right here is me all summer. Like, these over here are like beautiful for like base and stuff. Like you look so pretty. These over here I use to like deepen up my corner. These over here I'm going to wait until like the fall season when the weather gets a little cooler. Now I'm a little bit nervous because I have never used green eyeshadow in my life. So let's hope we don't look like the Grinch. But we're going to play with these when the weather changes a little bit. But right over here. This has been my jam all summer so far. Now, it has like one shimmer or like metallic shade in here. Like this one is really, really pretty. But again, I think it's a little too dark and smoky for the summertime. So I'm going to wait to use that. But this is my jam. I love, love, love this palette. Like I can't wait to dig into this one. I made a little mistake and hit it. And um, it broke, but it's okay. This right here, I love colors like this. Like this maroony blood, like ox bloody color. Cannot wait to use this. This is one I'm going to uh, spread across my lid a little more when the weather changes. This is definitely a summer to fall palette. Whoever came up with this color story, I love this. It's easy to blend. I'm not a makeup artist, so anything that'll help me do my makeup better and like work with me so that it doesn't look like I don't know what I'm doing. It blends so easily. It's very powdery though. Be aware when you dip your brush into it, it's going to be powder everywhere. Very powdery, but the formula is beautiful. You cannot go wrong with this palette. I, I'm, I'm really in love with this. This is one of my favorites. I haven't used any other palette like that since I've gotten this. My last item is a perfume. Now, you guys know how I feel about Joe Malone. I hate it. I don't like the mix-ups and the add-ins, and I don't like none of that stuff. It's just like I can't even do. So... When I seen this, I wasn't like, I wasn't excited about it because I just assume it stank like all the rest of them. But he has been doing amazing with his um, limited edition ones. I can't remember the two that I picked up. Um, Peg, Peg. Pega, Pega Nani flower or Peg Noni flower, something like that. That one last summer had me in a chokehold. I wore that every, I had to get another bottle because I got the small one. I had to get another bottle because that's how much I wore it. It's, it did not last all day, but I didn't mind because I love the smell so much. I didn't mind picking it up, just spraying it over and over again. But this one, this sea daffodil, First of all, this smells just like summertime. White dress out in a little sundress out in the summertime, beautiful sandals on, your hair in a ponytail or up in a bun, beautiful light dewy makeup. Put this on, you you about to catch. I don't even matter if you're at a gas station, supermarket, anywhere. This smells so, so good. It has your lang your lang in it, um, warm vanilla and sandalwood. Just those descriptions alone should let you know how beautiful this smells. It's not like, it's not too strong and overpowering, but it has a, a good reach so other folks can smell it that aren't really close to you. It lasts a little bit longer than the ones from last summer. These are, these little limited edition ones he's doing, he can keep these. He can clear the shelf of that other crap and put these on there because the the, the grass and lawn mowing shavings mixed with paint chips, I don't want that. These are 
This is what I'm looking for when I'm looking for perfume. Clean, that's another way I can describe it. It's a very clean, beautiful scent. You will not, not, I have not led you guys wrong when it comes to scents because you know how particular I am because I don't have a lot of them. I like a hero collection and where all of them is bomb and I'm done. I don't got a whole closet, whole room full of fragrances. I don't want all of that. I want a nice little compact, a uh, hero collection where all of them is a hit. This is one of the ones that's a hit. This is so, so good. You won't be disappointed with this. So guys, that is my short list of all the things that I have been using in June, my June favorites. Thank you very, very much for being here with me. Let me know if you guys have any of these. If you use them, how do you like them? Let me know down in the comment section. I love talking to you guys. Um, thank you again for being so patient with me and you guys were sending me DMs and stuff about the baby. I really, really appreciate it. She's doing so good. That's Auntie's little princess. I love her so much. And I have just been in like bliss, guys. So thank you very much for your patience. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe, like the video. That helps me out a lot. Share me with your friends and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.